Uh, hi guys, <clears throat> if there's one thing I cannot stand it's uh, bullies and uh, unfairness generally. Let's aim this a bit more down like that. Sure. <clears throat> so uh, I really support the police and uh, what they do or what they're meant to do I should say. Uh, because uh, police are the ones who put bullies behind bars, basically. <clears throat> I've done a popular video about uh, bullying in the workplace and stuff like that. Because uh, basically, I hate bullying. So, uh, what's the problem with the Swedish police? Basically, it's institutionalized bullying. It's, uh, as we call in Swedish, låg till tak. The ceiling is low. What that means is... If you say something, you get pushed down in your pinhole again. It's uh, extremely corrupt, not in the you pay money, you get this service way, but in uh, nepotism. You scratch my back, I scratch your back, and all the, the same circle of friends do all the bullshit. So there's a famous uh, police officer in Sweden who's been bullied all his life by his uh, bosses in the police and uh, he's probably the best police officer in Sweden and he's extremely smart and he's done a lot of research that's been published all around the world except in Sweden because uh, they actually went so far as to ban uh, research in the police in Sweden because of him because they did not like what he the results of his research and he's published a book. So I talked talk to this person <clears throat> and I bought his book because he released it himself. So when he get, got back from his uh, vacation, he sent me this book. And this book is called uh, The Police Behind the Curtains. And his name is Stefan Holgersson. And I don't know if you can see, see it. It's a uh, police chief doing uh, this with his finger behind his back. <laughs> that means he's lying to you. <clears throat> so, he basically, this book is uh, him collecting all his research into a book that's easy for the layman to read and understand so more people can understand how fucked up the police are in Sweden. Basically, and uh, yeah, this is going to be really interesting book to read. So I'm going to try to translate the backside of this for anyone interested that does not speak Swedish. Stefan Holgersson, his name, has been a police officer since the beginning of the 1990s. He's done research on the police since the end of the 90s. His research has, through the years, gained large attention in Sweden and been translated to several languages. This book builds on 10 years of data collecting and gives a unique insight into how uh, state-run agencies can act to... Uh, how do you translate that? Well, act to make sure no one gets insight into the agency, basically, how to basically lie and obfuscate so that no one gains insight into how the agency works <clears throat> and how to build uh, a false picture of uh, that government agency like we're actually doing good work while we're actually not doing good work that's the Swedish police by the way there's several <laughs> nice terms for that one is called chasing uh, sticks because the slang term in the Swedish police is a stick to basically the do shit to pad the statistics. We have about 1 million uh, crimes in Sweden, like uh, rape, burglary and stuff like that. About 1 million per year. year. And that's on a population of 9 million people. And uh, basically none of those crimes are solved. And... Uh, the police pad the statistics by going after law-abiding citizens like speeding tickets and stuff like that. And then they do some cr creative booking <laughs> to make it look like they actually do something. Anyway, uh, this book should be uh, 
read by every journalist, journalist and politician, but even but also by people who has an interest in uh, uh, civil society and democracy questions. Anyone curious about the police as an organization and what they do uh, will enjoy this book. Yeah, basically, if you're interested in the democracy of Sweden, read this book because, uh, yeah, you will get frightened. I haven't read this book yet, but I read uh, all his articles and uh, skimmed through the abstracts of his research and stuff like that. So this is going to be really interesting and I'm going to get more disillusionized and uh, more angry that we have no rights in Sweden and basically you're on your own. There is no rule of law in Sweden anymore. <laughs> Just today I saw a notice on the police homepage uh, something called Almen Fali Ödi Läggelse that basically translates to uh, someone like a building collapsed uh, it causes devastation so dangerous devastation would be some kind of translation of that uh, that crime what actually happened was the Syrian um, uh, community lo uh, house in Stockholm got attacked by grenades and automatic uh, machine gun fire uh, uh, and this is an obvious terrorist act but the police labeled it as uh, some kind of dangerous, dangerous destruction. Yeah, in my book, uh, grenade attacks and machine gun fire against uh, certain ethnic groups, uh, community house, that's terrorism, but not in Sweden. Now you learn something new. That happened today, and shit happens every day. So yeah, if you're a Swede, read this book. If you're not a Swede, be glad that you're not a Swede. Have a nice day.